Hello. Right. I was just about to muck about with the uh, the USB port in the back of the uh, Sky Glass. Not the USB C one, just the normal USB USB one, USB A, uh, just to see if it supplies any power. So I am going to. I've got a cable plugged into it already. It's a USB A to USB C. I've got this little light which uh, will only charge if it's a lower voltage USB C supply to it. So let me put you on pause for a minute and then we will get round. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing down here. So you're gonna have to mine the dust and the cat paw prints. So here's the cable, it's plugged into the back of the uh, Sky Glass Gen 2, may I add. So there we go. Here is the uh, little block of uh, loveliness, so, so Ulanzi light, so we plug it in and there we go yes it charges so give me just a second i'm going to see if this still supplies power should have bought the bloody remote control over shouldn't i <laughs> we're going to see if it's still live when the tv is turned off so we can see it's live there and we can see the tv is on yeah i haven't turned it off yet so we're still live turning it off now still live this is the same as a usb C does exactly the same with the camera plugged into it. So the telly is off on standby and it is still supplying power to charge this lovely little uh, little light. So we can see that it supplies power all the time from the TV, just like the USB-C does, which powers the, um, the live camera. That always has power going to it. So that camera can turn on any time it likes. Um, and give me a second let me on oh, i'll tell you what I'll, I'll i'll get you back you can see my face in a second hang on i'm back so the sky live gets power all the time constantly from the usb c i've tested that on the uh, gen 1 there's no reason why the gen 2 would be any different at all um so like i said sky could turn that on and have a look anytime they like uh, if you don't believe me um i when i spoke to a sky gen one person it might have been a gen two i can't remember a tech support person um they literally told me i think it was a gen one one uh, they literally told me what i had plugged into the back of the uh this bad boy so they can technically see whatever you've got plugged in the back i'm guessing they probably depending on what communication the hdmi has got to that system like the xbox or whatever it probably would be able to tell them exactly what you're watching if you're watching a film or something like that because it's going on the screen and they probably have some software and um yeah i mean if they can see what you got plugged in watch out if you've got one of them dodgy fire sticks yeah they will get you at some point they always do never had one myself um yeah that's the uh that, anyway, it was just all about the uh, the USB-A port in the back. No one seems to know what it's for. Everyone seems to think it's for one of those. You need know, to get the PCI cards, I think. You used to plug into the uh, TVs to get certain channels or whatever. Uh, people seem to think that's what that's for, but I'm not sure why you would have that on a TV like this. Um, it's certainly, you can't plug a hard drive or anything like that into it. It doesn't work that way at all. Um... The only way to do that sort of thing is you would have to have like, say, a, oh, what are they called? Like a streaming box. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. Um, oh, the NVIDIA Stream? NVIDIA Shield. They're cool. And NVIDIA Shield boxes, absolutely amazing little bit of uh, kit. They are fantastic. Uh, it's like an Android box, but it's way better. It's way, way faster. And it's a little games system as well because you i think it still runs android it runs android and you can get games and stuff on there um i think i used to play uh pubg mobile on there and absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant and you get controllers with them that's the only way to sort of do that you'll never be able to record off of this even if you plug something into the hdmi which is be the same from any other tv outputting something they have a special protection on there to stop your recording whatever it is you want to record like what dvd players do so you'll never be able to do that with this if that's what you're thinking of doing and to be quite honest it would be an absolute ball ache just to wire that up um yeah usb c a 
no one knows what it's about actually you know officially and whatever else i've not found anything i mean some of you might pop pipe on and say yeah it's for this that and the other maybe you're an engineer maybe you're told by an engineer but that'd be information to know thank you very much people you know what to do